Hey everyone, it's Mike Balsitas, broker owner of Bella Bay Realty. Let's take a second and meet one of our agents. Hey, it's Mike Balsitas here, broker owner of Bella Bay Realty. Why don't we take a second and get to know one of our realtors, Ben Portinga. Hey Ben, what's your favorite concert of all time? My favorite concert of all time. So I'm not much of a concert guy. Um, yeah, this was this was a difficult one for me to think about. I'm I'm a car guy, so I like I go to the racetrack instead. I'm not much of a loud music guy at all. So I don't know if I have a good answer for you on that. It's one. all right. All right. Well, hey, if uh, let's do this one. If the Olympics were an everyday sport, what would you medal in? <laughs> Buying cars. <laughs> ah, there you go. I probably buy cars like you buy houses. All right. How many cars have you owned? How many cars have I owned? Yeah. I would say it's got to be close to 100. Wow, that's I think awesome. I, I think I own five right now. So <laughs> three of the same one. Which one is that? I own a lot of Eagle Talon. So okay. yeah, I like a very specific model make of car, um, but I'm trying to diversify my portfolio. Gotcha, all right. Uh, favorite thing about being a realtor? Favorite thing about being a realtor? I get a lot of free time, you know, to spend with friends and family and clients. It's always funny that everybody talks about um, it being their passion. In the first two years in the business were pretty difficult for me, uh, but once I found my groove, it has become something where I'm able to give back. Uh, I have friends that have bought investment properties and um, helped first time home buyers, which is one of my favorite things to do. It's just a very rewarding career, not just financially, um, but also emotionally, spiritually. Nice. Hey, if you were stranded on a desert island, what three things would you bring? Okay, so my question to you is, is am I gonna do practical things or am I allowed to do fun things? You do anything you want. Okay, so I'd be remiss if I didn't say my wife. That, that's right? a, that's important. Anybody that knows me knows that I spend most of my time with my wife. We just really enjoy each other's company. We're newly married. Yep. Um, two months ago on Thursday. Congrats. So, uh, but since we've known each other, we spend like, I feel like every waking minute together, but we're, it's because we're both very competitive. So if we were on a, a deserted island and I wasn't gonna take a flint and a knife like a smart person should take, <laughs> um, I would take my wife because she's smarter than me anyway, so we'd figure out how to do everything. And then probably a barbell. Okay. And so that we could weight lift? I don't know, is yep. that a weird answer? No, not at all. Yeah, has anybody asked you what you'd take? Uh, I would probably take a set of weights as well, and yep. my wife. Okay, good, not a house. <laughs> <laughs> or yourself, I, I would, I, well, Definitely that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what is the coolest house you've ever sold? The coolest house that I've ever sold, in my opinion, I sold a very traditional two-story over in Grand Ledge, it had an attached garage. It was like the American dream white house, it had a wraparound porch on the front, big deck on the back, it was on an acre, it had a detached pole building, and then it also had a small, excuse me, it had a small garden in the back. They have, they had one kid at the time, now they have twins, so they have three kids, and it's like the perfect spot for a family to grow up in. It backs up to a cornfield, it's quiet, but you got room to work on the toys and grill out back, entertain awesome. friends. Yeah, so it's just awesome. Yeah, I'd say that. If today was your last day on earth, what would your last meal be? <laughs> so as with everything, I'm gonna be way too in depth with it. Uh, I would get, it would be a burger and fries, but then I'd probably have like a Mountain Dew with it because I really like Mountain Dew, but then I'd also have pizza because I like pizza. And then there'd be some sort of pastry to end it off with, with ice cream, maybe like a donut or cake or yeah, something like that. So hey, nothing wrong with that. Enough to give me a stomach cake. There right? you go. Because right. I'm not gonna feel the aftermath. That's you know it. it. There yeah. you go. Uh, favorite childhood band? Childhood band. Or current band. Or current band. Um, this might surprise you, being a real estate agent and being the guy that I am. I really like a rap artist. I figured you were a rap yeah, guy. His name's Lupe Fiasco. I like Lupe okay. Fiasco. He's probably my favorite of all, all time. All right. I, I have no clue who you're talking about. Yep. But, or right. the opposite end of the spectrum, very close running, <laughs> would be Coldplay, which is like not even close to the same thing. So A little, a little different there. I get made fun of for that one, yeah. So, uh, Favorite Michigan sports team? 
Pistons. Yeah, Pistons? Definitely okay. the Pistons. Bad boys especially. All right. So. Um, I know you're a big CrossFit guy. Yep. Favorite CrossFit workout? Favorite CrossFit workout? Murph. It's got to be Murph. I, I, everyone in the CrossFit says the Murph. Yep. You know what Murph is? Yep, I do. Okay, yep. good. For our listening audience. Uh, go ahead. Mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, mile run, and you're supposed to wear a 20-pound weight vest while you do it. So... Yeah, you lost me at mile run. Yeah. But all right. Uh, favorite Michigan vacation spot? Traverse City, yeah. Can't go wrong with that one. No, I got some friends that live up there. We go up there, we cruise the peninsula in our cars, spend some time in the water, and then like ride mopeds around. Oh, toot around town on mopeds, so <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. That's awesome. All right, well, hey, I appreciate you taking some time to talk to me today. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Mike. Always a pleasure.